The Russian investigative committee accused the Moscow theater attack suspects of trying to flee to Kiev with the coordination of a character through Telegram. After committing the crime, the terrorists got into a car and drove towards the Ukrainian border following the instructions of a coordinator. They should have crossed the border area and gone to Kiev to receive the reward as promised, promised before, the Russian investigative committee announced on March 29. According to the Russian investigative committee, the suspects told investigators that a man using an alias coordinated their activities both during the preparation and after the armed attack on the house, seeing Crocus City by sending them a voice message via telegram. The investigative committee said it was continuing to verify the involvement of representatives of Ukrainian special forces in the organization and financing of the terrorist attack last week in Moscow. On the evening of March 22, a group of armed people broke into the hall of the Crocus City Theater on the outskirts of Moscow. These people opened fire wildly, then set fire to the theater. The attack left at least 144 people dead and 382 injured. Moscow's Bomani District Court on March 29 arrested a ninth suspect related to the terrorist incident. According to the court's decision, Nazarmad Lovfaloy, a native of Tajikistan, will be detained until May 22. Lovfaloy was arrested by law enforcement near the Crocus City Theater on March 23. When police asked for identification documents, the suspect allegedly began violent resistance, disobeying police orders and insulting security forces. On March 25, the court arrested Lutfaloy for 15 days for violent behavior and Lutfaloy pleaded guilty. However, a few days later, the Russian investigative committee asked the court to arrest the Tajik citizen as a suspect in the theater attack, accusing Lutfaloy of being involved in financing terrorists. The Bahmani court had previously approved the arrest of four men believed to have carried out the theater attack as well as for others accused of assisting terrorist suspects by supplying them. This a car and rent an apartment. Although the self-proclaimed Islamic State, IS, claimed responsibility for the attack, Russia continued to accuse Ukraine and its Western allies of involvement. Kiev and the West have rejected Moscow's accusations. On March 28, the Russian Investigative Committee announced the initial results of the investigation into the suspects in the terrorist attack at the Crocus City Theater. The report states that investigators have collected important evidence showing that the suspects received money from Ukraine in the form of virtual currency. This money was then used to prepare for the attack. Russia's investigative committee said law enforcement officers had also identified and detained another suspect believed to be involved in financing terrorism, but did not identify him. Head of the Russian Federal Security Service, FSB, Alexander Bortnikov accused the US, UK and Ukraine of possibly supporting the suspects in the Moscow terrorist attack. According to him, Ukraine may have opened the door for the suspects to cross the border into Ukraine after carrying out the attack. In early March, the U.S. and a series of European countries advised their citizens to avoid going to crowded gatherings such as music events due to concerns about the risk of an imminent terrorist attack. U.S. officials confirmed that Washington had issued a warning to Russian security agencies. U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said on March 28. Washington even sent a written warning to Moscow on the morning of March 7 about the risk of an attack by extremist elements.